Hi all, my name is Dr. Arun Kumar K, ER consultant. He is Dr. Vivek, ER resident, and this is Dr. This is Jewel. She is a EMT working here. Welcome to the case scenarios in the ED. So we have this one patient here presented to the emergency department with history of seizures. Half an hour before, currently he is in altered sensorium. Right now we are going to the patient with we have a doctor and a EMT nearby the patient. Now this is Baiju, the patient name. Now he seemed to be having an episode of active seizures. So we have Dr. Vivek here, he'll be managing the case currently. Over to Vivek. Okay, sir. He is having active seizure. So we have to put him in recovery position. Make him in recovery position. And we have to give a oral suction. And uh, we have to connect him to cardiac monitor and saturation probes. Uh, okay. we'll get so we have put the patient in the, in the left lateral position, which is a recovery position. And then we'll try to like tell uh, Jewel to go for a uh, oral suction because the patient might be having secretions and put an airway device in the form of first we put the oral mask like uh, in the form of an O2 mask and then we'll either go for a OP or a NPA right then uh, two large bore IV cannulas we'll secure preferably 18 gauge and we have to give him since it is an active seizure we have to give him benzodiazepine we are having midazolam which is given us 0.1 milligram per kilogram weight okay uh, so we have already given a shot of benzodiazepine which is the first medication to be given in active seizures. So we are dealing with the patient with seizures currently we have put him in on an auto mask and connect to the monitors which is showing 100% saturation which are with a BP of 168 with a pulse rate of 70. So patient is currently sedated also because he was having active seizures. Right. So which is the first medication to be given for this patient? First medication should be benzodiazepine sir. In benzodiazepine. Active seizures. Okay. What's the dose of benzodiazepine which has been used? Benzodiazepine usually we usually think sir uh, lorazepam and diazepam sir. Lorazepam is 0.2 mg per kg. Diazepam is also 0.2 mg per kg. These two are preferred in intravascular route. If intravascular route is not available, then intramuscular route is preferred. Okay. In such case, we can give medazolam also. Okay. Medazolam dose will be also 0.1 mg per kg. We can give. Okay. What about the pediatrics case? In uh, pediatrics, other options available will be perrectal diazepam we can give, sir. Dose will be uh, same, sir. 0.1 milligram per kilogram of body weight. Okay. Okay. Fine. So now we have put in the left lateral position. So what to do next then for this patient? We have put him on left lateral position. Uh, then uh, we, we have to see whether seizure is uh, aborted or if still he is seizing, sir. Okay. So uh, now we, then our reassessment starts from the airway, breathing and circulation. Okay. Good. Now airway is... Uh, we have cleared with uh, oral suctioning and saturation is maintaining. Breathing, he haven't aspirated till now. We will ascultate and confirm it. Okay. And circulation BP is holding on good. Okay. Uh, because of postictal phase or secondary to our medication, he will be having a low sensorium. Okay. Then we have to go for exposure part and uh, sugar. We will check his GRBA. Sometimes hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia can also precipitate seizure. Okay. And, uh, here we have to check his temperature to rule out other infective causes of seizure. Alright, so we started with management of the active reverting of seizures. We give him like benzodiazepines. Now we are going to evaluate what could be the possibility the cause of seizures. So what the first medication was given was benzodiazepine. The first investigation to be done is random blood sugars. We checked this random blood sugar, it was found to be like around 105. So it seems to be like normal. The next investigation we are taking an ABG. Why? Because we need to see the lactate level. Because we need to find out is it a true seizure or a pseudo seizure. Okay, fine. We have done an ABG also. What is next? Arterial blood gas we will check. Then we will go for history and evaluation, sir. Okay. In sample history, we have to ask whether he is already a known uh, known patient who is on any medication okay. of, for seizure. Okay. Or uh, then second thing is we have to be, be sure of uh, his last meal. If it is a recent meal, mean there is a chance that he can aspirate it. Okay. Then uh, any skipping of medicines is there or not, we have to check. Okay, what's the things. first drug of choice in terms of terminating seizure which you have? It is benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine. Right? Okay. What is the first anti-epileptic drug of choice? Yes, sir. First anti-epileptics which, which we would prefer in emergency department is levetiracetam because of uh, other side effects, sir. Okay. Which is having rest interaction and okay. other uh, hepato, hepatosafe and nephrosafe, sir. Okay. Or else preferred will be phosphonitoin of 15 mg per kg. We will load it okay. and uh, we can continue as uh, fixed dose in further episodes, sir. Okay. So for a age group of this patient, he might be alcoholic. We never know about that, isn't it? So that could be the reason why we point more towards levetiracetam or levipil, what you say in the ED. Uh, in in terms of like anti-epileptic agent of choice. Now we have a lot of other anti-epileptics like phenytoin, phosphenytoin, phenobarbitoin, etc, etc, etc. But then what we know is, what we safe is in the ED to be used for 
acute cases like either phosphonator which can revert uh, the seizure as early as possible and the other advantage which can be given like within 30 minutes most of the antiepileptic agents which we use in the ED is like you have to give it over a period of 45 minutes phosphonator which can be used over a period of 30 minutes that is why it is the preferred choice in mostly in children also right and to be on the side like uh, one of the most common things to be noted is the drug dosage so all of a while like what is the most common drug dosage used in the antiepileptic age group drugs as such antiepileptics lev levitriacetam we can load 15 to 20 mg per kg as bolus dose okay and we can continue the same thing as uh, bd dose sir okay uh, if you are giving phosphonitine means phosphonitine is also 15 mg per kg advantages it can be given over 30 minutes uh, and uh, phenytoin also can be tried sir these are the usual things which we would try in emergency department okay now we have given the drug you have reverted the seizures you have provided the antiepileptication you have seen the airway you have seen the patency of the airway you have taken abg seen the lactate levels you wanted admission but you never know what the patient is having a known seizure disorder as well as some other cause for the patient so how do you evaluate the patient then sir, will you go for imaging next or will you go for some other investigation next sir we will go for we will prefer imaging sir imaging what imaging is the right choice for this if patient? patient is also having temperature mean then infective cause we have to exactly see sir yes. in such case mri brain with contrast we would prefer sir okay. if not if bp is for example if bp is high and patient had a seizure means then we would go for plain ct brain ncct brain sir okay what about a trauma case a uh, uh, alcoholic patient coming history of fall maybe a road truck accident something is there what could be the possible investigation in that case sir in trauma patient plain ct brain would be enough sir to okay. look for bleed to look for fractures impinging over brain parenchyma that those are the two things which you are checking sir brain okay. plain ct brain is enough okay now the last part of the discussion so this patient had a history of seizure he came to the ed seizure was reverted we went for imaging this patient had a history of fever also but the problem was the patient continue to have altered mentation in the icu itself what's the next investigation to be done in the icu in case of altered persistent loss of sensory then we have to check for his ammonia level and ultrasound we have to check sir excellent okay uh, to look for to look for the uh, parenchyma changes in liver okay uh, whether he is a cld or not we have to check for it sir yes okay so we are looking at a case of possibly and encephalopathy also isn't it yes right anything else to be if done if fever is there then yes. we have to proceed with uh, lumbar puncture to see for what is the organism in uh, csf fluid excellent sir. okay any role for eeg eeg we have to if Uh, EEG one hour screen EEG we have to check and we have to proceed for further continuous we uh, monitoring of EEG sir. exactly so in terms of patient present seizure and continue to have altered sensory in the ICU we will go for EEG because we have to rule out non convulsive status epilepticus now that's a different case discussion we'll go to another day. so this is the case which we are trying to present the ED a case of status epilepticus present in the emergency department this is how we manage in the ER thank you